Hello everyone, welcome to Victor's Lab Notebook and uh, in today's video what I'm going to be doing is a titration. I have um, a sample here, I have a jug of sodium hypochlorite which is essentially bleach although this is a, a highly, uh, about twice to three times more concentrated than the stuff you use in for like laundry. Uh, however it's been sitting for quite a while and and I would like to test to make sure it's still at, at the proper concentration. And the way you do something like this is through a titration. Now, sodium hypochlorite is, an, is a, uh, a base. So if you can get, um, if you can mix an acid with it and neutralize it, you can actually tell roughly how much uh, the concentration is. Now, the way you do it is uh, this stuff called phenyl, phenethylene. It turns red in a base. And it, now, Usually you have the acid in the bottom and the base in the top, but it doesn't really matter. The, as long as you keep track of the, the amount. In, in here I have uh, some distilled water. It doesn't actually matter how much water you have in here. As long as you know how much of your liquid or, or your sample that you put in there. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be putting 5 milliliters in here. And then I'm going to be putting some, some of the uh, phenolphthalein in there. And it'll, it should turn pink. This is this right here, this long thing here is called a burette, and it has graduations on it, but it's backwards. It starts from zero down to a hundred. And the way it works is I have about 20 milliliters in here, and it's filled with acetic acid, which is essentially uh, vinegar, except for it's pure, not the stuff you buy at the store. I have pure acetic acid, although this isn't pure. What you do is you dilute the uh, whatever acid you're using, in this case acetic acid, I diluted it to where it's about um, about half a milliliter for 20 milliliters. It's a little bit less, but... And the way it works is each milliliter that go, that the uh, level drops is about zero, is it 0 0.0005 moles of acetic acid. Because it's a one-to-one -one reaction, for every mole that I use, it's the equivalent amount of moles are in the in this beaker. So what I do is I put the five milliliters in, and then I put the phenolphthalein into the solution, and then I slowly drip the acetic acid in there until it until the pink disappears, because this turns pink when it's base, and then turns clear when it reaches neutrality. And the idea is to get it as close as you possibly can to um, pink or to uh, clear or if you're doing the opposite where the acid is is in the uh, beaker and the and the base is on top you want to get it to where it just barely turns pink what I'll, I'll turn on the stir because it, it, it's it's a good idea to have a stir bar in there that way you can um it mixes all the way through and, and the when the acid drips in it doesn't just react with a small area that would make you think that it might be uh ready when really it's not so first I'll add the five milliliters. Now, of course, if this doesn't turn pink, that means that the entire batch of sodium hypochlorite must have neutralized by itself. It's been there for like, it's been in there for like two years. So who knows if it's actually, uh, Oh, look at that. Well, at least I know it, it's uh, at some kind of concentration of uh, sodium hypochlorite. And now the, the idea, now this thing is, a, a burette is specially made to drip extremely slowly. And actually, I almost screwed up here. Uh, let's see here. And what, I, what you do is you first write down the, the fluid level, which is, 86.1 and the way it works is so you have let's say 86.1 let's say it goes to as it drops it goes to 96.1 well that means you use 10 milliliters of the uh, substance and therefore that mean that then you can calculate it based on the formula that, I, that you have how much is in there and you have to be careful to because this stuff is very um, sensitive the uh, phenolphthalein so you can't just 
go squirt in a whole bunch in there because the it goes quick pretty quickly from pink to clear and right now it's it's uh dripping in there and i don't know if you can tell but it is definitely getting clearer oh okay so now one thing i'm going to do here is i'm actually going to add i'm actually going to add five more milliliters of uh, sodium hypochlorite because i want to get a more accurate count or and as long as you as long as you keep track of how much you put in here of of the uh, uh solution it all it all uh, goes into the formula Now this time I'm going to put like a really, really slow drip on it. You can actually get really, uh, really slow with the drip. Just barely. Okay. Now I, I put this paper underneath the, st the, the beaker so I, I can see the color better. And uh, let's see what we got. We got 88.8. Now I only used about 2.7 milliliters. Now what I have to do is I have to just plug that into the formula. In this case, it's, let's see here, 2.7 milliliters times, okay, 5.005. That means there's a total of 0 0.0135 moles in that uh, solution. Now it's 10 milliliters. Now there, I put in 10 milliliters, so that means in every 10 milliliters, there's 0 0.0135 moles of sodium hypochlorite. Now, so that means I, I, you, if you uh, multiply it by 100, because 10, you'll get one liter, so you, you'll get the molar, the uh, molar concentration. So 1.35 molar concentration. Essentially, it's about. Let's see here. Do, 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 do. The molar mass, okay, 70, the molar mass of sodium hypochlorite is 74.44, 1.35 moles, okay, 20, so it's about 100 um, grams of sodium hypochlorite per liter. In that, in this case, it's actually uh, right up there where it needs to be. Now, I one thing I, I do like about this is I, I was able to actually confirm it's 1.35 because I like working in moles. I don't like doing percentages. Um, that because moles it makes it easier when you're doing uh, chemical reactions because then you know if this is a one to one reaction you need you know 10 moles of this and 10 moles of that. Well, if it's a one point, you know if you need let's say 13 moles of sodium hypochlorite, well that's 10 liters of uh, of your solution, which that's a lot. But if you need let's say 135 mil uh, or 0.135 moles you need 100 milliliters well um that's enough for uh this video uh hopefully you learned something i guess make sure to like and subscribe and do all that kind of stuff and uh i'll uh, see you see you at the uh next lab activity